Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to Iron to Diamond. We return Platinum 1, 56 LP. Um, so we are doing a live commentary. We did, obviously, the last two episodes were POV. This is live. I'm playing right now. Uh, bringing up the old loading Madu, and it kind of does seem that I might have been, you know, done a bit. Because it's apparently Casio top, which is going to be a nightmare for me as Gangplank. I thought I was picking, obviously, into an, uh, an Akali. Uh, bringing up... Whoa, let's change that. Okay, apparently that's broken. I'll fix that soon. Oh, there it worked. Hey, there we go, baby. Hello. Uh, welcome to the loading screen. <laughs> so as you can see, it's majority a diamond game uh, with a bit of platinum thrown in here or there. Didn't mean to click that. Um, you've got a duo, these two. Ari Lover. This guy doesn't play Nautilus, though. Uh, I, by the way, did get autofilled. I queued up as mid and AD carry. Got given top lane, because obviously. Uh, there's a Rengar one trick. Godlike Cassiopeia. Cold Streak, Soraka, who also doesn't play Soraka, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, this should be fine. Mm, maybe, well, again, that's, oh, maybe a transfer, possibly. No ranked history, negative winner in Diamond. And in Champion Select, this person said Trindamir was overpowered. So, potentially, this person is a transfer from a different region and probably isn't great. But uh, yeah, let's hope to have a good game ourselves. Again, having to deal with the Cassiopeia isn't exactly what I wanted to do for the first game of today. But it's what we're going to have to do. So yeah. Let me get my phone charged, because why not? How do I think Assassins will perform in Season 10? Uh, I think it's too early to say. Just wait for a week and we've got the new patch. Is it a week? Yeah, roughly a week. Maybe just over a week, two weeks. Um, it's really confusing because, like, TFT's now been updated, but Le League hasn't. So it's like, uh. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I'm not sure. Wait, Fleet Footwork. I know it would work on her, but isn't something else stronger? Isn't Conqueror stronger on her, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, this matchup, I, I actually have played this matchup once, and it's, uh, it's uh, nearly impossible for Gangplank to do anything. In lane phase. If she's an okay Cassiopeia. Gangplank suffers from overfighting. And uh, yeah, you, when uh, you're against a Cassiopeia, that, that literally is what she wants to do, is fight. As you know, you know, especially range versus melee. Uh, it, it's again, it's a cheese pick, but whatever. It's like, I, there was, there's no way I could have known that was Cassiopeia top. If I had known, obviously, I would have picked something ranged. Because that's pretty much the only way of dealing with it unless your jungler is going to mega camp you top lane that's another way of dealing with it but um in solo queue that's unlikely to happen i don't think they're gonna level two gank me do you because she helped i'm gonna ward it she helped him on red so just kind of in the back of my mind makes me kind of go oh, is he going for an early gank to try and make the the, the cheesy cassiopeia ahead early maybe possibly so, just ward against it. Uh, this is the type of a game, by the way, that, like, even I'm probably going to buy a cull. Because what cull does for me, and what I think a lot of people don't understand when it comes to cull, cull actually puts you in a mind frame of a certain thing to do in the game. So, cull, in your, when you buy the item, you're like, I am uh, farming, right? That That's what you are planning on doing. Um, so, yeah. And I am, by the way, expecting... Hopefully, again, this is where sometimes we can be like, oh, look, Huz, they did okay. But um, I'm expecting this vein to do very badly by her win rate, everything. That is pretty obviously a transfer player. Um, so, yeah. And they're playing vein. It's not like they're playing something that isn't notorious for feeding. <laughs> there is a reason that there is something called a, a vein spotting in solo queue. So what I like also, by the way, so far in this matchup, she's not aggressive, which she really should be. I shouldn't be even with Farmer Her right now, by the way. Again, I've played this matchup before. Admittingly, that was on the main account from memory. This is obviously Diamond Force, a lower rating. But um, yeah, I should be getting pretty damn punished. And I'm not. I'm actually might... Mm, am I going to let this push? I might let this push. I 
Nice. Wow, this is not a comfortable Cassiopeia, is it? She no way had to flash then. No way. She was near her tower. We The damage wasn't, like, going to happen. She is not comfortable. So I guess she just che cheese picked. Interesting. Very interesting. That's good. Which might, by the way, give me a relatively free lane. Um, which it really shouldn't be. But if I can get a free farming lane, I can definitely carry. They're all... Yeah, no, the whole enemy team is actually really squishy. Ooh, this could be a gangplank game, baby. Obviously, it is a gangplank game, but you know. A gangplank game. God, why is she not poking me at all? This is so weird. Just dodge the Q and then her damage can't really happen. Oh, no. That was weird. Wow, that was actually really well played by Nautilus. Cull, booties, longsword. Again, I could have bought a Sheen there, but it, you have to build to the matchup that you're playing in. And we're playing against a really passive Cassiopeia. So let's abuse that and make money. I can't remember. Does she play Cass? I didn't look. I, well, I, I, we obviously did look in a loading screen, but I don't remember. Might be able to actually kill her. Remember, I can actually get rid of her ult if I save my orange. So mid lane's not going well for us, and it's a range versus melee. It is a Kali, and everyone hates a Kali, obviously. So I don't really blame someone for losing to that. Again, there's the inherent difference between low rating and high rating. Someone watching this in silver goes, Akali's not a problem. Yeah, not in silver. We can all agree to that. There is a big jungle difference right now. Holy moly. 34 farm, 21. How's that happened? I'm on my way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Oh, double hit, dude. Oh, wait. Akali got away. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. This is not a very good Casio, is it? Holy moly. Or she's just having a, a rough game. But everyone, when whenever you're playing League, or at least I do, you get a feel for the player. It's like, oh, this person, you know, they might not be having a great game, but you're like, oh, this person, this person does, you know, you can tell they've got something to their play. It feels like she's uncomfortable on the champion. Oh, God. Towers are so tanky, dude. Alright, let's leave. I'm gonna check. Her uh, stats. She plays Cass. No. It's a Cassiopeia main. Uh, maybe her lane phase isn't her strong point. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. There you go. She's a mid to late game Cassiopeia player, not lane phase. Which is what most Cassiopeias are really good at. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> well, can I lane swap mid? Uh, negligible difference, really. My Well, to be honest, Ari should be beating my, the Akali. Or at least denying her a lot. But this, uh, she's gone. So I used to, by the way, run Glacial, and nowadays I don't. 
I think it's a confidence level with Ari that if you are confident with Ari, you'll never run Glacial. You'll always go Electrocute for like carry potential. And this one's obviously gone Glacial. So maybe they're just not incredibly comfortable with trying to be aggressive into an Akali. And that's, by the way, that's actually how you beat Akalis a lot of the time. You over aggro their aggro. As weird as that sounds. Um, so yeah, if you watch the Alawi episode... Uh, we, this is exactly what we did, you know, eventually. The early game was annoying, and then eventually we went way too aggro for her to deal with. Nice. God, the vein, by the way, is 30 farm down. Jesus. Would it be nice to have my ultimate there? That was two free assists, and maybe my ultimate would have been enough to get them the, uh, the kill on the Rengar too by slowing him. There's a small chance Akali's coming top right now, by the way. Yep. Ta-da! <laughs> you just know these things are going to happen. Any sub games today? Probably not. I'm going to just play on this account and then probably play some Planet Zoo after. Depending how long it takes to get all the games done that we need. Which is, to be honest, only one, but the more I get, the, the, the better. Alright. Uh, as for mid to late game team comps, by the way, enemy team is what I'd say scary damage, but that's about it. They're, they're not scary really in any other way apart from damage. So if we get advantage and snowballing, I think we'll just win easily because they're really squish. We'll just kind of run through them, you know? I'm not... Okay, there's a Carly. Where the hell's the Cass? I doubt I get an assist on that, do I? Wow. Eh, at least they got her. Okay, so Cassio just went back. Where's Rengar? Could he be top? Would he be top? Uh, I doubt it. He'd be bot lane before top lane, I would think. Ah, Rift, okay. Wonder, mm, where is he going to use it? Honestly, Rift Herald, he probably will top more than anywhere else. Because I, I don't know, I've got good wave clear, but I can't like... Okay, there he is. So he's coming from a, for a lane gank. This is where if I took stopwatch, it would be incredibly useful. I do think I'm relatively hard to dive, though. I will say. I don't think I'm a free dive. Do you think he's, like, in there? He can't... Like, there's no way he's still top. If he's still top, then... I... Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Come back. Rengar's mid. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Oh. Stopwatch did kill the Nautilus, but he might die. Ooh, he had thingy. That's not too bad. They get the mid... Uh, well, actually, support for support. So, yeah, not too bad. Damn. Ignite, I guess. Where's Cass? Oh, no. God, you go back... Wait, what? Okay. Huh. We might have to bait this. Okay, no. She's not going to come. God, she's so passive. I'm legit really confused. Wow. 
Weird. So again, if you're wondering why I'm confused, again, you pick Cassio to lane bully, especially top lane where it's kind of a cheese pick um, to bully melee champions. She hasn't bullied us once this whole game. She's letting a gangplank free farm. Like, I should not be even with her. Like, there is no way. It's bizarre. I can definitely kill her if Rengar's not top. But, like, the thing that you got to think is if she's not fighting me and then she suddenly fights me, why? You know? That's what you got to ask yourself. There should be a reason. Okay. That was a lot more health than I expected. Oh, of course. The first time that we have a fight in top lane, Rengar comes top. Typical. One that... So, to, to, to kill me, they've had to use three people. Because if Soraka didn't ult she was dead. And Rengar had to come to finish me off. And now he's using... Guys, you need to, you need to achieve something more. Holy moly. That's a, that's that's really annoying. What can you do about that? Nothing. The only thing you can do in that situation is legit just don't fight. Oh, this is fun. Two towers are going to go in one push. Sweet. That's so annoying. <laughs> Have a pretty good lane phase, evening to a, a cheesy Casio. Oh no! Oh my god, that didn't reach. That sucks. No, Casio's coming, dude. Cassiopeia, you're forgetting about. can't blindly just go aggressive like that. You don't know where Cass was. Cass could have been literally around this corner and ulted him. Bang, he dead. That's one of the big... Like, people ask me all the time, what's the difference between high and low rating? That. Like, thinking things through. Oh my god. I have been, like, thinking this Wukong wasn't doing great stuff, but, uh... Huh. Yeah, the Ari and the Wukong and oh god, this team is not great. The sea has no has been oh boy. Also, I didn't notice I got one on Cole. That's depressing. Don't think we're winning this one, folks. Again, still can maybe upload it, but I uh, don't think we're winning this one. Have that funny feeling. Unless I can get to like really late game and manage to kill everything, which you know is a possibility. We got a full damage Wuko. Uh, run Dadbot, welcome, dude. Again, I'm not. I like Wukong, but that champion hasn't been good pretty much since season four. Question is, do I split or do I need to get involved? I kind of feel like I need to get involved, you know? Oh, well done, Vayne. Being completely alone. Holy moly. Look at my ult. It's just beasting. Ooh. That charm. 
Hmm. Gangplank alive. Yep. Perfecto. Says the vein who was literally alone and got one shot by the Rengar. Uh huh. Fantastic. Well done. Destiny Light 2. Welcome, dude. What a pleb. Like, put it this way, my involvement in that team fight, we did way more than the vein, and I just ulted, because I didn't miss position and get one-shotted by a Rengar. Funny that. Ah, I'm rusty on Gangplank. What am I watching? So the Vayne's constant, continuously being alone. Because the Vayne. And the Nautilus does a suicide engage. What? Okay. Do you think they're doing it? Uh, they probably are. They can definitely do it. Yep. Wukong would rather chase the Kali to try and do something else. Holy moly. Again, this is Diamond 4, dude. Oh, man, it's bad. I'm not going to hide away from that fact. Diamond 4 is not good. Obviously, comparing Diamond 4 to the average, if you're a silver player watching, whatever, yeah, you, you know, th mechanically the game will be good here, but when... What I'd say, I've done Smurf series, played Smurfs for a long time. This arguably, and, you know, not just from this game, the last few weeks and this Smurf series this season, I'd say Diamond 4 area, di Platinum 1, Diamond 4, so low Diamond, etc., is the worst it's been probably ever in terms of quality comparing to where the like sure if you compare low diamond this season and you put a low diamond player versus a high diamond player i'm um, sorry a low diamond player from seasons ago current diamond player would beat that player because the game advances the players on average get better but i'd say high diamond has zoomed in quality a lot more than low diamond has and the same for other ratings by the way other ratings in the game honestly are like really good Sometimes I'm playing, like, I'm in go gold or something. I accidentally didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm in gold or something, and I get impressed by the players in gold. Like, gold has really come a long way to comparing to where it used to be. I got an assist. Nice. Um, so, like, yeah, I just think low diamond has not improved. Or, like, it, it, it appears to be worse. Because, yeah, it just hasn't, it hasn't gotten better in any way comparing to the rest of the game. Which is not good. An enemy has been slain. Trying to bait out for all of them. She's just gonna run. But we yeah, Wukong's coming, but no CC though. Wukong. Jesus Christ. Like, where was the play? Whenever you're doing a play, you got to ask yourself, how is this going to go? In what world was that going to go well for the Wukong? So like I said earlier, one of the biggest things is people don't think. That Wukong is definitely not thinking while he's playing. Like, there is no way he is thinking of what's going on. He's just playing the game. Holy dude. Shut down. Oh, that's an AD carry.
Get her. Ari might be able to kill her. So I might need to buy Merc Treads this game, even though... God, there's Wukong! He's poo poo! He just doesn't respect, like, what is... Oh my god. These players just need to respect death more. <laughs> you know, listen to the old saying, what do we say of the god of death not today? Holy moly, dudes. <sighs> Why did he use redemption up here? Eh, probably just to get vision, I guess. That wasn't that bad. I'm going Merc. Which is weird, but... I think I kind of have to this game. That was so close. Wait, has he gone tanky? Oh, that dude's got a lot of health. We can win this. Oh, not if they all get stunned. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They all got stunned. There was a sick castle. It was obvious it was coming because it was the only time she could have ulted. Turn. <laughs> Turn your back when you know it's coming. Yeah, like, she is doing better, so she's just not a lane phase player. Which is weird, because that's where Cassiopeia's strength a lot of the time is. Uh, Infernal Dragon. Oh, well. But, but also worth noting the farm differences this game. So we're ahead at the moment. He's behind 50. They're behind 50. They're behind 25. So, like, we are... We're down on... Like, if you ignore objectives... Which they're obviously ahead on several. We're also uh, we're behind on several areas, not just objectives. Holy moly! Like they're doing it. I'm dead. Need Nautilus. Oh god. He can take it for me. Oh well. Kind of feel like if we give them Infernal like that, the game's over anyway. But whatever. It might be before that point. Um, Do you believe that there are people that have ever been stuck in Bronze Hill for 10 years? That Well, you don't have to believe it. There is. 100% there is. Some things in life you're just not great at. Which happens and other things some people play ranked but you know they don't take it seriously you have to remember the average league player doesn't watch any type of content they don't read patch notes that's the average player the average player doesn't look into anything in the game So, yeah. Those people, they exist in the thousands, by the way, not just a few. And most people that play League, it's, it sounds depressing, but most people that play League don't climb. If they did, you know, the average rating wouldn't still be silver. It would continuously every season uh, going up and up and up, but the average rating doesn't go up and up and up. It stays the same. I really need level 16. Betrayal stings like salt on a wound. Could 
could go back and get a BF sword, to be honest, but I don't think I'm going to have the luxury. Oh my god, I couldn't even heal. Ugh, Nautilus, I guess, didn't even use ultimate. If I had BF Sword then, I would have killed the Cassio before she's on used. That's annoying. Oh well, win some, lose some. I think I'll upload this because it does, you know, we, we had an okay on Gangplank, but it does highlight how kind of poop this rating has become. Um, and this is something that we are hoping that, you know, Season 10 will fix. Uh, th th this problem came about when the MMR broke and so many new people got into the rating. You know, gold players were getting into diamond in the early season by having a negative win rate. Like, it wasn't like, oh no, they improved, they got better. No, they, they just played 300 games in the first month, had a 40% win rate, and they got diamond. That's how broken the MMR was. And people like that Wukong, ooh, and the Ari wasn't great. Like, yeah. And obviously, people will say, oh, they had a bad game. You know, I'm not... 100% pointing out these players specifically. I'm just saying you can generally tell the quality is not what you'd expect of the top couple percent of the game. It's just not. And again, I have the luxury of knowing that because I can go on my main account, I can go on other accounts, and I've done Smurf series for years. Like, I know what this feels like, this rating, and it's not good at the moment. So yeah, that's what this video is. And Gangplank, by the way, how did I feel about it? It was fine. You know, Gangplank felt fine. Was very weird that we didn't really get punished by the Cassio, has to be said. So like, it was very surprising to me when people said, oh no, she's a cast maid. It's like, oh. It's because Cassio's strength is bullying in lane and she didn't do any of that. Um, but obviously she pulled it together in late game. But, you know, advice to that player, bully more. Like, deny me farm. I should not be finishing higher farm than Cassiopeia as Gangplank. Not really. Uh, especially in lane phase, I was ahead. It was like, meh. Uh, anyway, we lost 19, which is actually pretty rough. 3 3 8, 2 2 4, and damage done. Dealing uh, second most damage on my team. Ari actually dealing the most. Vayne doing the least out of all the damages. That is a little bit telling, considering KD wise. Oh, she was 11 5. She had a great game. Yeah, not dealing basically any damage. Nearly the Soraka beats her. Um, but yeah, Cassiopeia obviously does the most as a range matchup you'd probably expect that and then the others but that's gonna be it a, a bit of a, a frustrating games to say the least quality's not great but it's worth sharing because again if the average viewer right now of watching me is silver gold you guys can see what they like you know if your aspiration is low diamond it sucks but it's like this is what you're and this is eu west one of the best servers to be on this is what you're going to be kind of met with it's not fantastic you know when i wasn't diamond i remember going oh diamond will be heaven It'll be the glory time. No, <laughs> no, no, it won't. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it. If you want to see more Gangplank, let me know. And uh, I will see you guys next time.